Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to install gutters and collect rainwater. Here's all the tools and parts. 10 foot sections of guttering, mounting brackets and waterproof screws, seam sealer, a drill with a long Phillips screwdriver to drive these in, gutter screws and a drill tip to drive them, a saw or snips to cut guttering, tape measure, a dropout to drain the gutters, and end caps for both right and left end. Since this is the back of my pole barn, I'm doing this project as cheaply as possible, but if you want nicer stuff, you can buy all this in aluminum. These 10 foot long gutters need to be sloped about a half inch to drain properly. I started at the top edge of the roof there, and by the time I get there, I'm a couple inches down. I mounted my brackets every five feet and dropped each one down a quarter inch. So my next bracket goes right here, a quarter inch down and five foot over from that one. And this is why we need the long screwdriver. That's gonna be my low point, so my next one is actually five feet over and a quarter inch up. The brackets snap into the gutters here and here. I'm gonna install this dropout right here, so I've temporarily got this next piece just hanging on the brackets. This just slides in like this. Same on the other side, and then I'll just pop this bracket in. And I screwed that to the wall here and here for extra support. To join two pieces of guttering, they sell a little coupler that goes underneath and it's about that wide, like this. The problem is it costs just as much as an entire piece of guttering, and it's kind of leaky because there's still a gap here. So what I'm going to do instead is lap it like this, knowing that my water is flowing that way. I won't have much of a leak and I'll just have to cut a piece right here so this will fit inside. With this piece cut out here, you can just slide these two together. And once it's up on the wall, I'll put a screw in here to hold it in place. I had to cut my last three foot piece, but before we put it up, we'll put this end on it. We'll pop it on and hold it on with a few of these gutter screws. There's our final piece in place, and now I'll tighten it up with a few more gutter screws. Like right here. Honestly, with the screw on top and the one right here, this is so tight, I'm not even going to use any sealant. We're all done up here, and it looks like a nice day over there, but we're going to get a test really soon. I apologize for this rusty old gutter pipe, but this is all I had. Downspout goes on here, held on with a gutter screw. Make sure to put a splash block down here or you'll wear a hole in the ground. There it is, all done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you want to catch my next video on a home-built 300-gallon water collection system. Thank you.